Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Dreams of Twilight, a Fire Emblem 8 ROM hack by Night Morris. I'm Pondon, and we're going to do chapter 3, Wrapped in Black. This is the last chapter of what's currently available in the public demo. I saw in the hack you can see that there's a couple of other maps made, but this is where the playable bit ends. So let's uh, just get right on, shall we? As Marius and co. make the return to Fort Skogel upon exterminating the bandits that had made an attempt on the young prince's life, Ornstein's dying words still linger in Marius' mind. Were the bandits hired to kill me, but why? And what of these cultists? Unbeknownst to him, his questions would soon be answered. You see that, Gwen? Yeah, the transitions, dude, you gotta work on the fadus and the fadis. So for those of you who don't do the hack rom, there's um, two commands. One is called F-A-D-I or Fadi, and the other one's F-A-D-U. And they're the ones that do like the slow transitions. So like if you're deleting something, you want to Fadu, delete, Fadi, show the next thing. So it's a bit smoother. This is something I had to learn the hard way because it took me a long time to get right. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. Because <coughs> that's what prevents that like little like glitchy waffle from showing up. You see that, Gwen? We're almost home. It's been so long, I'm so happy. Hey now, Gwen, let's not start with the waterworks. Sorry. Dot, 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 dot. Prince Marius, are you alright? Is it just me, or is that smoke coming from your village? You've got to be kidding me. Ooh. No. What is this? How could this happen? These are no mere bandits, sir. We have to save the village. Don't go tell me twice. Ooh, look at this man's face. I'll only ask once more. Where is the heretic you call Benvolio? I'll tell you once more. I don't know. He left yesterday. Well, then, if you won't comply. Gabriel, Gabriel, where are you, useless? <gasps> Whoa, it's Radislav. I'm right here. I like how he's Gabriel from Dream of Five, but also actually Radislav. Make yourself useful and take her to my room. I'm one of the finest tacticians on the continent. And use me as an escort. Be quiet and do as you're told. As you wish to... Gabriel here could probably chokehold this man. I won't allow it. You! Quickly, run away! Right. What the Gabriel, where are you going? Grah! Ah! Let's make a break for it, Ben. Is that really necessary? Yes. Travelers, please help us. Brother Benvolio! Mercutio! Excellent. Great Shakespeare references, Morris. Plus one. What are you two? You gotta stand around or you gonna fight? Fight! We'll fight, of course. Then get ready. Of course. Yo, Mercutio, dude. A reckless baller is Vinvolio's traveling dot 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 companion. Trophy tussle as the prep music. Beautiful. Well, this guy is looking top loaded. You kids like top loaded fighters? That's been that's Mercutio. And then Benvolio. A humble missionary with a strong sense of justice. That's a nice Laurent Lacroix mug. Actually, this is a Laurent mug as well. Epic Laurent mugs. And then he's looking like a light light speed over here. Alright. Let's uh, do some trade strats here. Okay. I was getting the. We'll give this to Colton. Colton needs it. Three luck. All right. I like the custom light tone here. Does light do anything funky in this hack? Nope. Just high hit. All right. Like everything else. All right. Okay then. So we got ourselves a map, lads. And here's Wetzel. Wetzel's pretzels. One of Basma's henchmen. Um. Luna negates resistance and cannot crit. Okay. And you get a master still in chapter three. Again, this map looks pretty fun. All right, let's see. Wrapped in black. Let's go. Look at the doubles here. All right, let's see here.
Are these chunky defensemen? They are chunky defensemen. Alright. Okay. Let's see. Ivy time. Throw a javelin. And then... Lagartha. And then, let's see, what are you saying here? Beefy damage. Colton can take two hits. And then, how much damage are you doing? 29. Minus nine twenty, you'll be dead. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So here is safe. Involio, dude, I love the Shakespeare names, man. Such a good take. Okay. So we'll put you here. And we can comfortably one round with the hand axe. I don't know how I feel about that. Do this talk. Hmm, is talk not a free action? I guess you have to install that. Dante! Ack, what do you want? I saw you staring at me. What's your plan, hmm? What are you talking about? I don't have any plan. Don't play innocent. Were you sizing me up? Looking for any weak points? Well, guess what? What? I have no weak points. So why are you always like this? Look, here's this lance I found at the bandit base. And if I give it to you, will you leave me alone? You think to bribe me with? By the gods, where did you find this lance, Dante? I just said where I... Doesn't matter. I'll accept this lance as a token of peace. For now. My name is fitting for a lance such as this. Sigh. The Blitzkrieg! Okay, Eduardo TLP. Ivy only. Brave. Okay. I'm into it. That guy doesn't move. Now, do I have a reason to... I guess there's a village here. Whoa, look at these guys. <gasps> the fabled weapon. Look at this Embato, though, man. Alright. Okay. Lots of spooky dark men. Dark magic men. As opposed to spooky light men, as seen in Last Heavenly Throne. Okay, they're charging in. Oh man! This is gonna be a cluster. Are you ready? So I feel like the strat is... Hole up. But let's see if we can do something better. Ren. Again, I really feel like an archer would be super welcome. There's a you, everyone has one two range now, which is nice, but also at the same time, it's like I need beefy two range. Another steel blade man. All right. One two range as well. Okay, I see you, game. Benvolio. Benvolio is epic. All right. Now we can use Agartha. Feeding kills to your armor knight, guys. Excellent strategy. Good level. Okay, and now... 
I will break my weapon here. This is very, like... It reminds me of using... What's his face? Leon in Berwick, where he just has deathmatch and just goes forever. Alright, so... We'll heal up Colton here, Mr. Silver Axe Paladin. Now, what are these guys saying? Sword Reaver. Steel Lance, Hammer, Steel Lance. Steel Lance, and Hammer. We'll do this because... All right. Fighter battle. He's gonna double. Mercutio, dude. He is offense personified. I'm into it. Like, almost a little too comically offensive, but it's fine. Spooky Darkman coming in hot. Alright, the Dark Magic Man. Hit this Mercutio. Beefcake. All right, now. Oh, he's got the Sword Reaver, but of course. The casual one hit, big triangle. Run back. Okay, now. Whew. The setups, dude. The setups. This is very satisfying. The numbers feel very careful for the most part, which I like. How do you do against? Man, these guys are chunky. Chunky defensive men. Awesome men. Alright, let's see. I could do an epic shove strat. Alright, I think we're gonna do a heal strat here. And by heal strat, I mean we're just gonna heal the guy who's probably gonna have to front line for a turn. And then... Let's pull you back here. So you won't be able to, You have to go for these guys, and then you're pulling... Yeah, this is fine. Turtle strats, lads. This is kind of how you have to... I feel like I have to play a little turtley right now. Big damage, though. Man, these are chunky... Chunky men. 14 damage for my Axe Fighter. Come on, Benvolio, I'll get a crit. Okay. Casual four hit KO, no big. Okay, the Dark Magic Men are gonna keep coming in. Let's go, Ivy. Ivy's TLP Eduardo, and I like it. I'm into it. I'm all for it. All right, now. Lagartha. Let's see. It's unclear, like, which direction I'm supposed to go. Um, no, that's 28. That's not enough. 
and okay, you'd be safe, so we can do this, yeah. Or actually, let's do a little heal for Colton. Because I feel much more secure when my Jagan is at full health. And then... We'll chip. Actually, that was not enough damage. Casual math mistakes. This is fine. Okay, this is fine. Let's see if Benvolio can get a crit. And set up. We can set up Marius, actually. The dodge, though, Benvolio. Doing wonders against the dark magic men. Alright, now. Big level up. Okay. okay. This guy doesn't move. This guy does move. Steel sword. Devil axe. Might injure its wielder. Big damage. Holy heck. Heal up Mercutio. Alright, so we'll send you this way. And go this way. Let's see. I feel like it's hard to press forward because of how many enemies are just coming at you. Like, I feel like I'm playing a defend map versus a seize gate map. Oof. Casual one hits. Holy heck. How am I supposed to deal with you? Yeah, this is a problem if, like, most of my dudes are getting one hit. Oh wait, haha, -ha! the axe reaver. Still getting one hit! Game feels a little overtuned, Morris, in that sense. Alright, let's um. Alright, we can try something like this. So silly. Alright. Alright, I don't think I can actually... I can't progress, so... Can Colton deal with him? Yeah, this is not conducive to the split. If my guys are getting one hit by the Devil Axe man... Yeah, like, look at that, man. This is gonna be a reset. It's a little overtuned. I'd probably just, like, nerf that guy's strength just a little bit so he's not one-hitting. Basically everyone. Because, again, it's like, I don't know how to deal with him if... Okay, at least I can progress. Yeah, I don't really know, like, how I'm supposed to deal with him. When none of my dudes can take a single hit. And he outranges most of my units. There's something to consider. I also just, like, it's discouraging to also kind of just be stuck in this one spot the entire time. I'm gonna try and play through it. 
because we're at the end anyway, and I don't want to restart. I don't feel like I've progressed very far, but I feel like I've been playing the map for a while. Let's go Blitzkrieg Ivy. Good level. Mr. Luna Man. Luck. Excellent. Nine nine is a T, and let's do it. Didn't want to we waste my Prince Short on it, even though it's the last chapter. Again, playing like the game's gonna last more than this chapter. Uh, simulate reality a little bit more. Otherwise, I feel like it's hard to accurately play test because kind of want to play like how the game intends you to play, you know. So, all right, now we can start moving, moving in a little bit. All right, I do miss Colton. Oh, hello, Brigand. Okay. Beefy damage. Okay, that guy doesn't move. Whoa. Forgot that it's effective against armors. Very cool. Thank you. All right, let's see how we do here. Then Can't really take two hits at once, so we're just gonna slowly move in here. Perfectly outranging. Let's go. The Axe Reaver is epic. Can you double? Oh, yes, you can. Beautiful. Whew. Marius. When are we getting fuely? Twenty four, twenty nine. How much hit do you get, though? I feel like you probably can't take both of these. I need Lagertha, but I also need Lagertha elsewhere. I would like to get this village. Some of these setups are like so beefy where I feel like my only option is the turtle, which I'm not crazy about.
Ideally, I'd peel the, the archer down one way. I feel kind of stuck here, because I don't think there's any way I can deal with this guy and this guy simultaneously right now. Because the hit rates are too good, and Marius is too much of a noodle man. So... Alright, let's actually map, map this out. So, it's a reaver, so it's plus... it's minus six. So you're doing 23 minus 7, which is 15. No. It's 16 damage, yeah. So you're going to be at 15 health, and then you're doing 24 minus 7, which is 17. Yeah, you're dead. Even with full health, you're dead, so... Yeah. Not really sure how to deal with that. And your defense is too pitiful to even attempt it. Support! Maybe. I'm guessing that's not intentional. Definitely room to optimize. Letting Colton die because of the reinforcement Devil Axe is kind of crap, but I didn't really have much choice. He one-hit everyone else. Ooh, look at the slashy man. It's a fun animation. Okay, now... Oh, I gotta be careful for you. And for you. So if I bring you down to 25, can you do this? No, Sferatu's really annoying. You know what, I don't even want to deal with this. I also don't know how to... Hmm. I guess Lagurth is my only option here. Yeah, I just feel like I can't progress, dude. Oh, no. Well, that's an anti-turtle. Oops, stay back, I say. Blessed Lance. This Lance is hashtag blessed. All right. Yeah, I don't know what you want me to do, Morris. Am, am I too small brain for this hack? Maybe. I feel like I have to sack someone to move forward. And that's really unfortunate. Oh, wait, how much defense do I get? One. I'm going to do a quick save state and just try this because I don't know what else to do. I really don't know what you want me to do, man. But this is early hack, Rom. This is why we test things. And I know this is a new chapter that's probably not been tested very much so far. So it's good to do this. All right. Okay, let's see. Do you have more than three defense? No, you have exactly three defense. You will die. All right, well, Lagurth is going to chill down there. I can't really do anything else, so I'm just going to run away. Yeah, that was stupid. I don't really know what else to do, man. A flyer would be nice for that house. Maybe I'm asking too much. Okay. That was much more doable than I thought.
Okay, this guy's gonna just chill there for a sec. Yeah, I just have to accept that she's going to die. Maybe we'll get really lucky. Ooh, epic crit. The asthma. I like that tome icon. Makushio, dude. What a chunky axe, man. Alright, Dante. Yeah, I feel like the split's hard to pull off on this map. I think you gotta really think about it, and maybe I'm thinking hard enough. Morris, you gotta tell me, am I thinking hard enough? I don't think I'm thinking hard enough. Alright, now... Let's heal up... You, Mercutio, and then Marius. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't hurt me. I'm too rich to die. Will you take this if you promise to spare me? Oh, I see. You're here to get rid of those cloaked fiends? Thanks, I guess. I expect you want some rewards. So here. The red gem. Ooh. Alright. Yeah. Lagertha died so I can see what was in the house. That guy's a little too stacked. In my opinion. I will say this is creating that Souls of the Forest feeling where, like, the game isn't unfair, I'm just bad at it. And I know that if I were to restart and try again, I would do better. But I do think, like, at the surface, some of this stuff just feels untenable. And, like, almost to the point where it's, like, unless you figure out the one solution, you can't progress. And I don't like that too much. I I feel like it's very limiting. Like, the Devil Axe guy, there's, like, who can tank the Devil Axe besides maybe Lagertha with the Axe Reaver? Okay, let's see. What is this guy saying? Brave sword. Okay, can we deal with this? It just feels very much like bait and switch, these enemies that are too powerful because of how they're placed. I don't know. Yeah, like, look at this. Like, I have to... There's, like, no way to deal with this. Lagertha can't be everywhere. Lagertha's also dead. I do think, like, some of these enemies would benefit from having, like, charge if within two range AI. Okay. Because then I could actually, like, try and player phase them more. But it kind of comes back to, like, having no safe ranged options. Like, the javelins and stuff are okay, but, like, I really feel like a beefy archer would do really well here. Like, compared to some of these other weapons, like, 8 might... 7 might, like... Thief stagger 0. It's just not... It's in, like, your attack's only 12. Like, your ranged options are not spectacular, but the game's, like... The enemies hit so hard, you really need to rely on them. See what's at the store. What is the song from? 
I'm into it. Alright. Looks like the heretic brought back up. No matter, you will all die here anyways. Alright, we gotta end this Peronto. Here we can do this. Nice dodge. Big speed. I think Ivy. Yes. Let's do it, Ivy. End it. Calculated use of the Blitzkrieg. Gabriel, you useless. Uh, poor Gabe the Babe, man. Dream of Five Gabriel and Dream of Five Marius, both in Dreams of Twilight. Coincidence? Alright, Ivy, I see you. Master Seal, excellent. Oh no. Oh, I forgot to move Dante out of range. Whoops! I'm sorry, Prince Marius. Whoops. Does this guy have, like, Void Curse or something? No, you can actually... Kind of... A little jerky that he just like completely one hits you, but whatever. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that'll show him. I owe you my thanks, traveler. Were it not for you, I'm afraid things have gotten much worse. Don't think anything of it. I was simply doing what anyone would have done. Hold on a moment. Aren't you the great Garcia? You fought for Renee, didn't you? Oh yeah, so this this hasn't been done yet. Um, but that about wraps this up. So my thoughts on this map. The enemies are just a little overtuned, I think. The Devil Axe guy in particular, like there's, it's such a big difference when your guys get one hit versus when they get two hit. And even if it's a very near one hit, at least you can plan around that appropriately. It's kind of just like you either have the right unit or you have the wrong unit. And even the right units aren't always that right, but at least you can deal with it. But like when most of your units are getting one hit by a particular enemy, like that's problematic and that becomes a puzzle. And I don't care for that. Um, I think the guy, the mercenary guy in the corner is a little overtuned like you kind of need to like rely on baiting him with a very specific unit i don't know who because just about everyone gets killed i guess you can bait with lagertha and then move her out of the way and then finish off with like colton or mercutio once he pulls out the lance reaver so that's probably how i would do it if i were to do it again the nosferatu shaman in the middle is really annoying and nosferatu is just like at that big of damage when you're doing so little back is really troublesome to deal with um I find that, like, I found that they didn't really have much incentive to try and, like, push up the right side. Um, besides going for the lance, like, the split incentive was not really that great. Um, or at the very least, like, the map didn't seem conducive to splitting. Again, I could have just played suboptimally. But I also do feel that, like, even with, like, a bad split, you should have at least an ability to do something. I, I, I will say, though, like, I did want to, like, replay this chapter to try and do it the right way. I'm a little mentally spent right now. But... So I'm going to consider for next time. Um, but yeah, I would just watch out for like, how often are your guys getting one hit? And could this unit survive more than a single round of combat? And I feel like the placement is super, super tight and careful, which I like. But you just want to avoid putting it in a position where it's like, you have to do this one thing one way or else you die. And I'm not super crazy about that. I'd have to go watch my old Souls of the Forest footage to see like how much i remember that i don't know maybe i've just become a casual in the past year but i do think you're on to something good morris i think that the hack has potential i think the tweaks that you would need to make are minor like it seems like very carefully thought out 
which I like. You just want to avoid putting yourself in a situation where the player has to play one specific way because that's going to kill replayability. And I think the replayability so far is like, how can I continue to optimize? Or rather, I screwed up, so let me find the right solution, which I'm not as crazy about as, can I try something different and still succeed? There's a big difference there. It's subtle, but it's big. And my view is that there should always be more than like one way to solve a problem in Fire Emblem because if it's too puzzly, then it's like, once you know the solution, then it becomes kind of mindless. The fun is figuring out like how to make do with what you have in the specific situations. And there should always be multiple ways to tackle an objective. And I feel like this chapter in particular, it was very much like Lagertha and Colton kind of needed to be everywhere and it was hard to pull off. Um, I also think that there was too much pressure at the start. Like you really just kind of get stuck in that beginning space because of the enemies just coming at you and it's hard to like actually move forward. I think it would be better if those enemies like pull, like showed up a few turns later, maybe that's something I would test, but it's not the end of the world. Um, Again, not the end of the world, but something to consider. Overall, the hack is good. Guys, give this a try. This is a fun little three-chapter demo. I'm sure Morris will appreciate your feedback. I hope you've appreciated mine, Morris. And I look forward to seeing what else Dreams of Twilight has to offer as it continues its development. This is still a very early hack. Three chapters only. Feedback is good. Feedback is great. It is a gift. Please continue to give it to this and other burgeoning ROM hacks and hack ROMs. That's my PSA. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. I'm Fondon. This is Dreams of Twilight, a Fire Emblem 8 ROM hack by Night Morris. And I'll see you next time for something else. Ta-ta for now.